everybody. Welcome back to the Chiquel YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and you know what? I wouldn't feel right if I didn't wrap up the year 2023 without giving you a few of my favorite wigs that I tried this year. So before I jump into that, I'm going to remind you to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can learn even more about alternative hair. Okay, I know, I know, I am in a weird background. This is not my usual setting. The lighting is not ideal. I am away for the holidays because of course it is the Christmas break. Um, I'm back at my family home, my childhood home. This is the, the basement that I grew up in actually. But you know what? It actually, I don't think it really matters that my lighting is not great because what I'm gonna do is actually take footage from previous reviews I've done and just kind of put it beside me so that you can see those wigs because I don't have every single wig I own with me here. So that way you can actually see me showing them and I can just give you a quick little blurb about them and let you know why they are some of my favorite wigs that I tried this year. Okay, I'm gonna talk about four. Somehow, some way, I narrowed it down to four of my favorite wigs, which is, that's like an impossible task. Honestly, I would make this list about a million miles long because there are so many of them. But what I did is I have decided to talk about my favorite long wig, my favorite um, shorter kind of pixie cut wig, my favorite wavy mid-length wig, and my favorite, like overall wig that I had this year. So hopefully that kind of breaks it down and gives everyone a little bit of something to um, enjoy watching. I mean, cause I know not everybody wears long wigs or short wigs or wavy wigs. So hopefully this gives you sort of something to grasp onto. I'm just gonna dive right in and start with my favorite long wig that I tried this year. And that is gonna be Zara Light by John Renault. All right, I'm gonna move on over this way and show you guys Zara Light. I reviewed her not too long ago. Um, one of the main reasons I love this piece is because of that light cap that John Renault has. I am a huge fan of their light caps. They are so comfortable. They feel so secure. They just feel like they fit you like a glove. The hand tied caps are nice and stretchy and soft. They feel so good on your head, especially if you're someone who's bald like me and doesn't have hair. Those hand tied caps just feel so nice. And again, as someone who is bald, I appreciate the silicone strips that come on the ear tabs and at the nape of your neck. They make it feel like it's gonna stay on your head forever. And if you feel like that's not enough, you can always add adhesive to those silicone strips to help it stay even better. Now, not only does it have really excellent parting versatility and a full ear to ear lace front, it is also lower density. And I know that as a woman who's experiencing hair loss, getting a wig that is low density is so ideal because it's really hard to go from um, having hair loss, not a lot of hair, and then getting a wig that is just like, shoo, and so much hair with all that permatease in it. And it just feels not like you. And it's really hard to ease into the wig wearing world. Oh my gosh, my hair. It's really hard to ease into wigs when you go from hair loss to suddenly a lot of hair. So I appreciate John Renault and these light caps because they lower the density on them and make that density just feel so natural. So Zara Light by John Renault is one of my very favorite long wigs that I tried this year. Okay, now let's talk about my favorite wavy wig of the year. Now, a lot of you might be thinking like, oh, she's going to pick Simmer Elite by Raquel Welch or oh, she's going to pick Wavy Day because those seem to be really popular wavy pieces. But no, I'm not picking those as much as I love them and think they're wonderful. Those are not my top picks this time. My favorite wavy wig that I tried this year was Esprit by Ellen Villa. Okay, one thing I love about Ellen Villa is their low density, their minimal permatease, and just the lightweight feeling of all of their wigs. And Esprit is all of those things. My favorite thing about Esprit is when I put her on, I feel like I'm wearing a cloud on my head. It does not feel like she's even there. There's just like, it just feels like it's just gonna float off of your head because it is so lightweight and so comfortable. And I know that comfort is such a huge 
factor in wearing wigs. So she is lightweight, she is comfortable, she is low density as well. And one of the reasons that she is, you know, lightweight and just really comfortable is because she has a partially hand-tied cap. So again, just like Zara Light, she's just gonna feel really cozy and comfy. That's just the nature of these hand-tied caps. Now, Esprit doesn't classify as a curly wig. I mean, if, if you're looking at her, which, I mean, she's right here, <laughs> she's definitely not curly. And she's even only very slightly wavy. She's kind of like a mess messy wavy look going on. But when you add some product to her, like maybe some sea salt spray or some wig wax or contour cream by John Renault, then it really brings out the style even more and gives her more of a funky look, which I love. So she's definitely one that's really fun to play around with. So if you wanna learn even more about Esprit, then make sure you go and check out the review I did of her and I will link that below for you. Okay, we've talked about my favorite long wig, we've talked about my favorite wavy wig. Now let's talk about my favorite shorter wig this year. Now, honestly, this one is a little bit harder for me to decide on and that's because I sometimes have a hard time seeing myself in short pieces. I, I'm not truly used to those pixie cuts, but I did try a lot this year and there was definitely one that when I put it on, I was like, okay, I could do this one. And I actually turned out to just love it. And that one is Seven Mono Part by, again, Ellen Villa. Now, the main reason I'm choosing Seven Mono Part is mostly because of her style. I think this is a style that can suit a ton of people. I feel like she can be made a little bit more jazzy and funky for the younger generation, or she can be a little bit more subdued for an older generation who might not be as into styling it as much. Like I was mentioning earlier, Ellen Villa is always really great at making their pieces lightweight and low density, and Seven Mono Part is just that. It also feels super lightweight. Now, this wig in particular, it's not a hand-tied cap like the Zara Light and like the partially hand-tied cap of Esprit that I just mentioned. This one is just a fully open wefted cap. And although she might not meet the exact comfort level of those previous wigs I talked about, she still is extremely comfortable. I should mention that I had a really hard time choosing between Seven Mono Part by Ellen Villa as well as Risk by Ellen Villa. Risk is like your ultra short pixie cut. It's probably one of the shortest ones that we have on our site, but man oh man she's cute. So if you want to take an even deeper dive into these shorter pieces, then definitely go and check out Risk. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to share with you my absolute favorite wig that I tried this year. And this goes across all of the categories, like it trumps all of them. <laughs> Honestly, there were a lot of top contenders here, but I'm kind of going based on how I felt when I put it on for the first time, not only what the style was like, but how it felt on my head and how much confidence it gave me. And that is Dalgona 16 Hand Tied by Beltress. Now, one of the top reasons I'm choosing this one is because of Beltress's hand tied caps. Their hand tied caps are probably one of my absolute favorite caps in the world. <laughs> they are comfortable, they are realistic, they are lightweight, and they are just so, so lovely. And another reason that I am choosing Dalgona 16 Hand Tied is because I also really love Beltress's heat-friendly fibers. Beltress uses their heat-friendly fibers on all of their wigs and they're always just so nice and buttery soft and smooth. And I find that they don't clump up as much as some other heat-friendly fibers do. They are a little bit softer than others. Um, and they're just, I find that they last even a little bit longer. Okay, let me go back to their hand-tied caps. So of course, the caps are hand-tied. They have a full monofilament top, so you can change the part wherever. And they also have a full ear-to-ear, -ear, like wrap around your ear, lace front, kind of like the light cap on um, Zara Light that I was talking about earlier. They also have silicone ear tabs to help with your security and in keeping your wig down and in place. I love the movement on Dalgona 16 Hand Tied. It's, it moves so naturally and I love all of the styling options that you can do with her. She really is a very versatile piece. Oh my goodness, you guys, choosing these wigs was actually really hard because like I mentioned earlier, there are just so many wonderful options out there, but these are the ones I've chosen and I'm sticking to it. I'd love to know though, what your favorite wig of the year has been. Do you have one that you just like constantly turn to and go to and it's just like your workhorse? Or have you tried any of the ones that I've mentioned here today? And do you love them as much as I do? <laughs> 
Let me know in the comments what your favorite wig of 2023 is because there might be someone going through the comments reading to see what other wonderful options there are to choose from. I'm sure they'd love to get some inspiration from you guys too. Now with that, I'm going to head out, but I also wanted to make sure I wish you all a very, very happy new year. If you are someone who is struggling with hair loss, struggling with the idea of wearing wigs or toppers or alternative hair, I hope that this year brings you confidence and it brings you that sort of aha moment that you've been looking for. Because I know how hard it is to lose your hair. I know how hard it is to start wearing wigs. It's a really lonely and heartbreaking experience. I hope that in 2024, you're able to find acceptance and just embrace this all. Because honestly, once you get to that point, wigs are just so much fun. So again, happy new year guys, and I'll see you next year, which I mean, is gonna be in just a few days anyways. But I love saying that. See you next year. Bye guys.